I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that might be unfamiliar to many of you out of the community. Excuse and me, the, sir. Yes, ma'am. I have all this electronic stuff, and I don't know what to do with it. I have a DVD player. I don't even know what this is. It comes with a controller. Can you please take care of it for me? I don't know where to, I don't know what to do with it. Okay. Can you please say, I'm sure you can handle that. Thank you so much. Okay. Like I was saying, Hi. the topic I was... I just got a brand new laptop and I don't need this one anymore. So if you could find it, do it, throw it away, give it away. Just, you take care of it. Thank you. Okay. okay. How are you today? Go. Just came from Toys R Us. Brought the new PlayStation 3. Don't need this one. Kids, everything we know. We know this is winning. Yeah, I just Thank got a new cell phone. The newest one out of the market. Okay, it's one of them. Yes. I have some cell phones that I need to take care of. Can you do that one? There are different ways of how to dispose of your household electronics. One way would be to throw it in the trash can where it'll end up in a dumpster or in a landfill. A second way would be to take it to a recycling center where electronics are disposed of properly and won't contaminate the environment or end up in different countries. The EPA estimates that one third of all electronics purchases end up either in closets or in garages. In the United States alone, 14 to 20 million personal computers are disposed of every year. In 2007, the EPA estimated that 20 to 50 million metric tons of e-waste are produced yearly worldwide. To sum it all up, exactly what I do for a living is I fill up containers with electronic waste and export them. There are many ways of doing it. I can declare it as a charitable contribution. I can write off my taxes. Or I can easily declare my second-hand uh, electronics and reuse them, resell them, anything. Electronics are being sent to developing countries where they're being broken down for certain parts and being resold. The dangers of such practices are that humans are being improperly exposed to the chemicals released by these electronics and as a result are causing harmful effects on both the adults and their children. These chemicals which are causing damage to many include aluminum, which is found in almost all of the electronics and can cause symptoms such as skin rashes, skeletal problems, respiratory problems including asthma, and is also linked to Alzheimer's disease. Nickel, which can be found in batteries, causes allergic reactions, asthma, chronic bronchitis, and impaired lung functions. Arsenic, which is found in circuit boards and used as conductors, can cause allergic reactions, nausea, vomiting, decreased red and white blood cell production, and dysrhythmias and mercury, which is found in flat panel TVs, can cause symptoms such as multiple sclerosis, hyperactivity and learning disabilities, and some people may also exhibit sensory impairment, disturbed sensation, and lack of coordination. So ladies and gentlemen, today's intention was not to make you fear electronics or computers because it is obvious how important computers and electronics are in our daily living in this modern society but instead to make you more aware of how you consume electronics and most importantly how you dispose of these electronics because it is those decisions which ultimately affect other countries, other populations and the children in them which ultimately affect all of us. Thank you very much. The following list includes Miami-Dade County Solid Waste Department Recycling Centers where one could easily go and dispose of their electronic waste properly. Please remember, e-waste ignorance is not bliss.